and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Sandy Vigal TV presents the Sports Corner Podcast. Let's get ready to rumble! Hey guys, it's Too Sweet Radio. Welcome. Um, today we're going to be talking about WWE, obviously. This is a WWE podcast. But we're also going to be talking about New Japan. And um, what else, Lee? And a little bit of Ring of Honor. Yeah, a little bit of Ring of Honor. But mostly WWE. Um, we're going to be doing um, WrestleMania Fantasy Bookings for our first part of the show. Then we're going to talk about a little bit of 205 Live and NXT. And then maybe we can talk about some rumors about Ricochet, Kari Sane, those type of wrestlers, what they're going to be doing in, down in NXT. Same as the and War Machine. The, and uh, the the brand split. Yeah, like. what's going on with the brand split? I have no clue what's going on with the brand split. We'll have to wait and find out. All right, so Lee, you got to go first. What is going to happen... You reckon? Well, not reckon. What is your fantasy booking for WrestleMania? Okay, well, for WrestleMania 33, I'm predicting that um, we're going to be having AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura for the World Heavyweight title. I would love to see that. I've been waiting to see that at WrestleMania. For the Universal title, I wouldn't mind seeing Dolph Ziggler in the picture. If he loses the Fatal 5-Way at Fastlane, which, give the devil some credit, is going to be a terrible, terrible show. Yeah, like every single year. <laughs> yeah, fast lane's horrible. I don't know why I have a fatal five way. Why don't I have a one on one match with AJ Styles and Dolph Ziggler? Or just have a triple threat match. Just leave it as it is. Yeah, and but have Dolph Ziggler probably in it because we need Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler is one of the best things in wrestling right now. And yet WWE are using him incorrectly, like a joke. Um. AJ Styles is the best wrestler right now. We can clarify this. Am I right? Lee? Damn right. Easy. AJ Styles is the best wrestler, but Dolph Ziggler sells the best show. He has the best sales. A- anything. He's a good face of the WWE. Same as Finn Balor, but they use him horrible. Same as Bray Wyatt. He's a good wrestler. And great Matt character. Hardy. Woken or broken, whatever. Matt Hardy. I'm not a big fan of him, but he's a he's good. Um, using Kevin Owens. So bad. And Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn's alright as a heel, but why not bring him back as the mask guy? Oh, yeah. 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 But let's talk about your fantasy booking. Okay, so... Enough yeah, about... Okay, so yeah, for the WWE Smackdown. title, Styles and Nakamura, for the Universal title, Dolph Ziggler, and uh, hard to say who would be the Universal champion then... Probably Brock Lesnar. Probably Brock Lesnar because they're doing the one contender thing with the elimination. Yeah, the number one contender. Probably going to make Roman win as usual. And no one likes Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is horrible. Yep. I don't like him at all. Okay, so for the women's title, SmackDown Women's title main, mainly, Asuka and Charlotte, I wouldn't mind seeing that match as well. Uh, for the 205 Live Cruiserweight Tournament, um, I would have Cedric Alexander and Ricochet. That would be a great match. Yes, it would. I would book mine differently, but yeah, keep going on, Lee. Uh, for the tag team titles, I wouldn't have it as a ladder match like last year, though I would have the Hardys versus um, Sheamus and Cesaro in a Tornado Extreme Rules match. That's just me. If Jeff comes back, and that's pretty much it. Like I don't have anything else thinking for WrestleMania. Okay, now. this is my WrestleMania fantasy booking. Now this is probably going to be a little bit more advanced than Lee's. I'm going to do it from the start. So right now, we'll have Fastlane and Elimination Chamber coming up. No one really cares. Like, who gives a shit? Like, no one cares about Ronda Rousey signing a contract, okay? Now, let's talk about the Universal title. That's what I'm going to be talking about right now. The Universal title, this is what I want to clarify. We know who's going to win that Elimination Chamber. It's going to be Roman Reigns. It's 95% Roman Reigns. And if it's John Cena, I would hate that as well. I At least it would be better than Roman Reigns. It's better than Roman Reigns, but John Cena, I'm not a big fan of. Now, let's say you have Finn Balor in that match. You have Seth Rollins. You have Roman Reigns. You have John Cena. Who else do you have? Uh, Let's see here. You have Elias and Braun Strowman. You have Elias and Braun Strowman. Elias is the dark horse of the WWE. Elias is so good, but we're not going to talk about him right now. 
Let's talk about the Universal title leading to WrestleMania, which is my fantasy booking. I have Finn Balor win that match. Now, Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar would be an amazing one-on-one match. That's what I would have aiming. But I would have... Let's switch to fast lane for two seconds. Have Dolph Ziggler lose the title. Like, not lose the title, lose the match against AJ Styles and him blame it on, like, Daniel Bryan or Shane McMahon. And they do a trade. Let's say for someone. Let's say someone like a lot. Actually, no, I like Elias on Raw. Someone for Dolph Ziggler, trade, or maybe money to sign Dolph Ziggler from SmackDown. And then book a money in the bank ladder match at WrestleMania. Imagine that. Have a money in the bank like old days. You have. We're going to have a six-man Money in the Bank. You have Dolph Ziggler. You have Elias. Because he's not really going to be used. Tell me if Elias is going to be used. Seth Rollins. He's not being used right now. That's so, three yeah. top guys right there. Yeah, that's the perfect opportunity for WWE to use them. Like, Yeah. Maybe yeah. have... And then three other guys. Could be jobbers. I don't care. Maybe it could even be Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy if he's the enigma. Yeah, if he's, if if he's, he's the, the enigma. extreme enigma. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's say Jeff Hardy. And then two other people. We have Dolph Ziggler win that match. Then we have Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar. Finn Balor wins and finally slays the beast. And then, to, and wait, then Dolph Ziggler... Wait, 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 wait. Let me speak. Finally slays the beast. All the cheers. And then Dolph Ziggler comes out. You know how much of a heel move that is? What a business move that is. Imagine Dolph Ziggler, heel Dolph Ziggler, not face Dolph Ziggler. And he would still get cheated. That's how much everyone loves him. I was going to say the exact same thing. But imagine if the fans boo. That would be perfect. Crazy. That would be amazing. And then he beats Finn Balor, absolutely destroys him. And then they have a feud for about four months, nearly for the whole year. How good would that be? That would be the greatest thing. Now, I'm going to switch to SmackDown. I'm going to talk about... Actually, no, I'm going to switch the Intercontinental title here. Since Jason Jordan is out, which I want him to turn heel, but he's out with a neck injury. Since The Miz has the Intercontinental title, why not have Samoa Joe beat The Miz if he returns? Let's say if he returns. And then we need Braun Strowman to do something, yeah? Braun Strowman versus Samoa Joe at WrestleMania. That would be amazing. Now, Samoa Joe is very good. He's athletic. And, yeah, he's just a really good wrestler. Then you have Braun Strowman. He's not that good of a wrestler, but he can sell the fans. He's an amazing character. Lee even likes him. Um, and then, yeah, have that match for the Intercontinental Championship. Now, also... I want to talk about the Raw Tag Team titles, which are horrible right now. They are the worst. I'm not liking the Raw Tag titles at all. I do like the tag team. I do like the tag team of... Sheamus and Cesaro. Sheamus and Cesaro, the bar, whatever they're called. But they're not that good. What about have Sheamus and Cesaro versus TM61? I love that. They just came back. From injury, why not have them up in the main roster? They're not going to do anything there. There's too many good tag teams. Yeah, there's nothing huge for TM61 down in NXT. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's the perfect time Amazing. for Amazing. To... There's two Australians. Imagine them winning the titles on the grandest stage of them all. The first Australian tag team title. Now, let's talk about the Raw Women's title, which is also haven't been defended since TLC. What a joke. Tell me what a joke. It's now, you know pathetic. what? In the Elimination Chamber, have Bailey. Actually, no, not Bailey. Have Sasha win and turn heel on Bailey. Then, Alexa Bliss does her rematch, not at WrestleMania, does her rematch on Raw and loses to Sasha Banks. Lined up for Bailey and Sasha match. I love Alexa Bliss, but Alexa Bliss has been doing nothing. Why not give it to the best wrestler, women's wrestler in WWE, and that's Sasha Banks, and Kari Sane, and Asuka, and Charlotte. Those four women are absolutely amazing. Ember Moon, I don't mind as well. And, yeah, those are the titles right now. And then, as for the Cruiserweights, I'll have Ricochet 
versus what Ricochet versus did Roderick Strong win them win the match? Yeah, I think Roderick Strong won that match. No, nah, but I don't know. That wouldn't be a cruiserweight style match. Yeah, I would have Ricochet versus Heel TJP. That is gonna be a very good match. Wait a minute, That's isn't TJ Perkins a heel? Still yeah, heel. Heel. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Just leave him as a heel. So what of an amazing match that would be. All right. Then we're going to switch it to SmackDown. We're going to talk about the WWE title last. I'm going to talk about the United States Championship. What a waste of a title right now. Yeah. Randy it, Orton, Bobby Roode, that and is, Jinder Mahal. That is hardly a good feud at all, if you ask me. Yeah. Like, I'd rather have Rusev, Rusev Day... Win the United States title. That's it. Yeah, but I'm going to talk I, about Rusev later. Trust me, you'll like this. Now, we right. need Bobby Roode to turn heel. Okay, that's, Bobby Roode needs to that's turn heel. We need Randy Orton to switch to Raw and turn heel on Cena. Maybe something like that. I don't know. We've seen it too many times, though. Have Bobby Roode turn heel and have an NXT come up. Someone like Andrea Almas. We know Andrea Almas is going to lose against Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano is bound for the NXT Championship. Why not have Andrea Siamat come up to the main roster? Maybe it's a little bit too early. I think it's a little bit too early, yeah, because NXT TakeOver and all that stuff. You know what? That's a little bit too early. I want to have Bobby Roode. And maybe if Neville can come back. That is a, that and is have a nice idea. Drew Heels fight for the United States Championship or have a ladder match. That is a good idea. I like that. But no one cares about that, man. No one cares about the United States Championship. I'm going to talk about these three main titles that everyone's been talking about. The Usos, who hold the tag team titles, the SmackDown tag team titles. Charlotte. And the greatest wrestler of all time, AJ Styles. Sorry, Ric Flair. Um, now, we're going, to talk about, we're going to talk about the tag titles. We're going to have Jey Uso and... Jimmy Uso. They're a very good team. Now, they're doing some weird thing with the Bludgeon Brothers, and they're doing some weird thing with Chad Gable and Shannon Benjamin. Both horrible tag teams. I don't care what you say. Bludgeon Brothers need to go to NXT versus the War Machine or something like that. They're good, but I reckon either take them to Raw or take them to NXT. Then have um, Rusev Day. Have Rusev Day versus Jay and Jimmy Uso at WrestleMania. That is even better. That is... Imagine if they win the Rusev Day. No one cares about Aiden English. Let's just keep, let's just say that. But everyone cares about Rusev Day. Everyone cares about Rusev Day. Rusev is very, very good. He was already good before Rusev Day, but now he's even better. So have them and then have Rusev Day win. That is my fantasy booking. But then we're going to have the women's title. Smackdown women's title. Charlotte versus Oscar. That's it. If there's no Charlotte versus Oscar, well, you've already wasted Oscar's time in WWE. And you've already wasted the um, genetically superior Charlotte. She's already been wasted. Yeah. I'm sorry to say it. Yeah, a face Charlotte. Like, what's the point? Have have, have a turn heel at elimination uh, at fast lane. Have a turn heel, or maybe have her interfere and turn heel against Ronda Rousey, and then Ronda Rousey. I don't know, but you need Ronda Rousey in the in the WrestleMania, anyways. Charlotte versus Oscar. Oscar. Um, she by the way, she is the winner of the uh women's first ever first ever women's Royal Rumble. So she gets to pick her title, either Raw or SmackDown. She needs to pick SmackDown. That's it. Why would you want... Okay, Asuka versus Sasha Banks would be good. But why not have two amazing matches? Asuka, Charlotte, Sasha Banks, Bailey. We already know Sasha Banks and Bailey can put on a good match. And we already know Asuka can wrestle and Charlotte can wrestle. Why not have those two separate matches? So we have Asuka win the title. And we have Asuka hold the title for a year. Until she versus... Kari Sane. A heel Kari Sane. That is great. A heel Kari Sane would dethrone, obviously, Oscar after a year of her reign. I would even have her up to two years. That's how much I love Oscar. But 
we're not talking about the next WrestleMania. That's ages away. We haven't even came up to WrestleMania 34. So we're going to have Oscar win that match. We're going to have Oscar and Charlotte feud. But now we're going to talk about the WWE title. This is a no-brainer. If we're going to have Dolph Ziggler, well, in my fantasy booking, Dolph Ziggler win the Universal title, we're going to have Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles. But, with a twist. We have AJ Styles win the title at Fastlane. We have Shinsuke Nakamura coming out, shaking his hands. Blah, blah, blah. They shake hands and then bang. Finn Balor, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson all attack Shinsuke Nakamura. Balor Club. I have no words to describe that. That is just amazing. Amazing booking right there. There we go. Shinsuke Nakamura is beaten down, victimized, and conquered by the Balor Club. It's too sweet, baby. Yep, that's right. It's too sweet. Everyone loves Shinsuke Nakamura. Everyone loves AJ Styles. But AJ Styles is a better heel. What, did you see what he did to Cena? That feud was absolutely amazing. I don't know why they had Cena beat him at Royal Rumble. What a stupid, bloody booking. And then have Bray Wyatt not win the Royal Rumble, but win in the Elimination Chamber. But that was last year. WWE don't know how to book. That's it. Shinsuke face. AJ Styles heel. Then that will be a more entertaining match. Why have two faces? What is the point I'd rather have two heels versus each other. I don't want two faces. I love... They're the best wrestlers right now, except for Kenny Omega and Okada. Okada is... Oh, amazing. If he went to WWE, WWE title straight away would beat Brock Lesnar or Finn Balor, something like that. But we're not talking about Okada right now. But everyone's saying Shinsuke should win that match. Which he should. He should. What's the point of him winning the Royal Rumble? There's no point. Just put on a great match and then lose. Have Shinsuke win. How hold it till SummerSlam. And then see Johnny Gargano versus Shinsuke Nakamura. That's a really, really good dream match. Johnny Gargano is AJ Styles esque. Now you know who else stole that off? JD, the best podcaster. Now, he is everything about AJ Styles. Like, he's everything, man. Like it's just a picture. Picture. You look at them. They're the same thing. Johnny Gargano is the next big thing for the WWE. Not Andrea Siamas. I love Andrea Siamas. He's amazing, that guy. I still think he should hold the NXT title for the next year, but Johnny Gargano is putting his career on the line, so Johnny Gargano should win. And then relinquish the title, go up to the main roster, and then challenge for the title. One of the titles. Either Intercontinental United States, or maybe even a WWE title. I'm not a big fan of Tommaso Ciampa, but that's alright. So have Shinsuke Nakamura win at the main event of WrestleMania. That is my fantasy booking, but we're going to talk about Ronda Rousey. Sorry, Lee. We're going to talk about Ronda Rousey. Have Ronda Rousey versus... Actually, no, mix match challenge. A mix challenge. We have Ronda Rousey, and The Rock is probably not going to go be at WrestleMania. The Rock ain't going to be at WrestleMania. So who would take The Rock's who place? Who would take The Rock's place? A guy who hasn't even been used this year. A part-timer who has 16 world championships and they don't even know how to use him. John Cena. Have John Cena, Ronda Rousey versus Triple H. At Stephanie McMahon. Or you can pull Braun Strowman. Because you know what happened. Maybe even Kurt Angle. But you know what. The best option is either John Cena or Braun Strowman. But I want to have a crazy option. I want to have him from a different brand. Lee. Name the top 5 wrestlers out of WWE right now. Well the top 5 wrestlers out of WWE right now. Is basically AJ Styles. No question. Out of the WWE. Out Not of, in the WWE. Out of the WWE. You have Kenny Omega, you have Cody Rhodes, you have Okada. 
and you have this New Zealand wrestler. Jay White. Jay White. Imagine. Have that guy. This is different fantasy booking. At its finest. Jay White coming in as a heel. Working for Triple H. Turns his back on him. And then we have Jay White, Ronda Rousey versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. There we go. But you know what they're trying to do with Ronda Rousey and Stephanie McMahon? Apparently they're trying to make Stephanie McMahon a big star. Now, by the way, that is my fantasy booking. Now me and Leah are going to react to the rumoured WrestleMania card. Which I'm going to search up right now. But the rumoured WrestleMania card is interesting. So Lee, talk about some of the rumours that has been happening. Well, right now, as I've heard, WWE will be no longer doing the brand split. Well, that's a rumour. I don't really know if that's ever going to happen, but that's the stupidest move I've ever heard. I've been liking the brand split. Not the women's division, though. Tag team division? Yeah, I like the SmackDown tag team division, but Raw's tag team division? Yeah, it's just okay. garbage. Now, I'm going to name the whole thing. So we're going to have, apparently, the rumoured card. Braun Strowman versus The Miz for the Intercontinental title. Now we're going to talk about that right now. Lee, we all know this is a stupid match. Yeah, that's just the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Why have... Why have Braun Strowman take on The Miz for the Intercontinental title? Exactly. No one cares about... About that match. That's going to be a boring, sloppy match. It Probably, maybe it could be a good match, but I doubt it. Uh, sorry sorry to interrupt you there, Idan. It's, prob- it's probably going to be more boring than The Miz and Brock Lesnar. Yeah, probably. You know who I want to see? As I said, you heard, you know what? I don't even need to say it. You heard my fantasy booking. It shouldn't be the match, period. The match is just horrible. Miz can wrestle. Braun Strowman can kind of wrestle. But one's big. He's a very big guy. And it will just be like local competition. We'll just have the Miz scared running around the ring and blah, 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 blah. It's just boring. And have the Miz Taraj interrupt. It's boring. No one wants to see that. Now, the next match... Oh, do you want to add to more of that? Do you want to add to more of that? No, I, I have no clue. Okay. So, the next no, no. match is the Raw Women's title, which I said shouldn't happen, Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax. Why? Why? What's the point? Nia Jax has already been wasted. She looks like a baby face every time she was with Enzo Amore. Alexa Bliss needs to bring back the proper Alexa Bliss. She's amazing on the mic. But right now, she just needs to let go of that championship. We've seen too much of her. Uh, Sasha Banks versus Bailey. Period. What do you think? Yeah, I have nothing against Sasha Bailey for the women's title at WrestleMania. Alexa Bliss has nothing else to do with the women's title. So there's basically no point for a Nia Jackson Alexa Bliss at WrestleMania. I have, I have nothing f- for this. Yeah. And then the SmackDown's women's title. Perfect match. Charlotte versus Oscar. That is perfect. That's it. That's all we need to say. Legit. Genetically superior Charlotte versus the, the Empress. Undefeated, the, the undefeated, undefeated Oscar. The undefeated Empress of Tomorrow, Oscar. Oscar is one of the best things on WWE television, and that's one of the reasons why I'm going to be watching WrestleMania. I'm sure you will, Lee. I will be. Yes. This is the biggest event I mean, wrestling, except for Wrestle Kingdom, obviously, because Wrestle Kingdom is way better. But um, now we're talking about the WWE title. AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. No, I'm joking. But Shinsuke Nakamura is amazing. He's a Royal Rumble winner, and that's just a perfect match. I can't really say much about it. We just need to sit back and watch, but we're going to have Lee's reaction. Lee, what do you think of this match? I have no... I have... I love this match. I would love this match. When I first watched it at Wrestle Kingdom 10, it blew me away. And it was just for the Intercontinental title. But having this at WrestleMania would be the next best, the next big thing. I would love to see this. Yeah, same here. We can't really say much about it, but this next one, Lee, you better react to this one. 
because I didn't really mention The Undertaker. John Cena versus The Undertaker. Oh. Yes, it would be a good man. Not really. But, they're both... Uh, but they're, they're both, both part-timers. They're both retired. That's it. That's all I get to say. There is nothing else for John you Cena should've... and The Undertaker. There's nothing left for both of them. Why have this match? Why predict it? He should have just had this before Brock Lesnar versus Undertaker. Have John Cena turn heel. Then beat The Undertaker beat at WrestleMania 30. Beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania 30. Have him retire. Get away from here. And have John Cena hold one of the titles and just be heel until like 2017 or 18 and then retire. What a career that would be. But no, WWE need to have great moments for the WWE Network and need to have Brock Lesnar break the streak. You know what would have been a better moment? Have John Cena turn heel and break the streak. You know how many people would have watched that? I can't stop having a rant about this. This is horrible. The Undertaker is one of my favorite wrestlers, but unless The Undertaker can um, do well, I don't know, man. This is nothing for If he has anything left, left in the tank. Yeah, yeah, I doubt it. Nothing left in the tank for the Undertaker. Same as Cena, man. Like, yeah, there's there nothing is, else left for There him is, but like, I'm not a big fan of John Cena, so we'll have to wait and see. Lee, what's your rea- like? What is any more in depth about this match? We can want to switch it. Well, as of now, I have nothing else left to say. But there's nothing else left for the Undertaker and John Cena. That's yeah. all I can say. All right. Now the WWE Universal Title. <laughs> Predicted, as usual. Roman Reigns is Brock Lesnar. Yeah, pretty predictable. Really? Pretty, pretty predictable. Very predictable. Let's just say that. The worst match possible. Why? Roman Reigns. No one cares about Roman Reigns. You had this at WrestleMania 31. It happened. We don't have to have it again Three three years later. Yeah. It's horrible, man. Just just get rid of Roman, man. Or either get rid of him or turn him heel. Switch into SmackDown, turn him heel. I don't know, man. Or just have him defend the Universal Title Elimination Chamber. Yeah. That's it. And then have Finn Balor win. But we want Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar. I don't know about you. What did you say about the Universal Title match? Dolph Ziggler versus Brock Lesnar. Is that what you said? Yeah, Dolph Ziggler yeah. and Brock Lesnar. We're having different um opinions. But, um, yeah. Right now, it's just, just much different. Like, Roman Reigns is just he's not good. He's the worst wrestler. In WWE, period. Easy, easy. Now, let's just... Probably move. even worse than Kurt Hawkins, and that's saying everything. Yeah, Kurt Hawkins is just... Uh, now, they give your in-depth opinion. This match shouldn't happen at all. If it does happen, if Roman Reigns... If Roman Reigns wins this Elimination Chamber match, I might as well give up already. Yeah. I have... It's already a 95% chance Roman Reigns is going to win. Yep. Next match. Ronda Rousey and a male partner versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. They could have Conor McGregor, by the way. They're thinking about it, but I don't know. I don't think he does want to do WWE. I don't think Conor McGregor could ever yeah, I'm gonna talk this about the, I'm going to talk about this match because most likely... We don't know who this person is. If it's not Braun Strowman, who else can it be? Kurt Angle? Because they're both kind of wrestlers, MMA. Like, Kurt Angle loves MMA. Ronda Rousey's a former um, UFC champion, bantamweight champion slash strike force. And, and a few months ago at Survivor Series, Kurt Angle and Triple H did have their differences in the... Yeah, they did have their differences. In the match. Yeah. yeah. So, um, like, I don't know what's going to go on. Um, let's hope something happens, and yeah, we we really can't have an in depth ma- uh, look on this because we don't know who the male partner is. But all I'm gonna say is Triple H is amazing, but Stephanie McMahon, she's not good as a wrestler at all. She's not good at all. That That's match it. with her and Brie Bella at the 2014 SummerSlam was god awful. Oh, that was the worst match I've ever seen. Worst female match, period. Horrible. Now let's... Is there any other more matches rumored? No, that is the full card for WrestleMania. Now, that is looking okay. That's all I'm going to say. That is looking okay. That's all I'm going to say. And, yeah, like, the WrestleMania card is... Eh, 6 out of 10. 
I don't know about you, Lee, but to me, this is not a wrestling fan's dream. The only match I care about is one match, and that is Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles. Yeah, that's what that's all I care about as well. The rest of the card is just... Uh... Now, Lee is going to be talking about um, NXT TakeOver. Or, you know what? No, we'll leave that later. We are, you, know, you are going to talk about rumors, the brand split, and all that stuff. So, have oh, a go. Oh, yeah, I already talked about the brand splits. I think it's a terrible idea. I think they're doing an okay kind of job with the brand split. As I've heard, it's it could end, and I don't want it to end. It could be a dumb idea for the WWE, period. Even dumber than uh, Roman Reigns winning the Universal title, as much as I hate to admit it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, nah. I I would recommend not and then the brand split. As much as I hate the um, brand exclusive pay-per-views. I don't mind them. It's just with these next two coming up, Elimination Chamber for Raw, Fast Lane for SmackDown, it's just going to end up in pure mediocrity. All right, over to you, Ida. So there's your thoughts on Lee's rumor mill. Um, that's going to be Lee's part in Two Sweet Radio. He's going to be talking about a lot about the rumors. I'm going to be talking about more about the booking because I am. They call me the booking god, don't they, Lee? <laughs> there we go. Um, so we're already 30 minutes into the show, and we've talked about it a lot about the WWE, and you know. I'm loving, actually no, that's a lie, I'm hating the WWE right now, they are the worst thing in professional wrestling, period, or whatever you want to call it, entertainment, whatever you want to call it, now, let's just talk about something that is going really weird right now, and that is... Not WWE. We're talking about New Japan Pro Wrestling, slash Ring of Honor, if you whatever you want to say. We're going to talk about Kenny Omega and Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes, I think two weeks or three weeks ago, attacked Kenny Omega. And everything's going up in the air. Everyone's saying Cody Rhodes is going to be the next Bullet Club leader. Which I don't want. I like Cody Rhodes, but Kenny Omega needs to be the leader. Okada needs to keep his reign. As much as I want Kenny Omega as an IWGP heavyweight champion, I just don't think it should happen. I think Okada should hold the title for the next three years. That's how much I love this Okada guy. <laughs> Unless um, uh, Tanahashi. Yeah, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Hiroshi Tanahashi is going to hold the title. By the way, that was an amazing match. Yep. Hiroshi Tanahashi versus... um, What's his name? Hiroshi Tanahashi and... Versus uh, o- I think it was JY, was it? Yeah. Yeah, JY. And then um who did you have versus Okada again? Who did who did Okada take on? Uh Tetsuya Naito. Tetsuya Naito. That should be the guy. So I got really mixed up with the names because it's just a bit yeah. weird because it's yeah. New Japan. Idan doesn't know his New Japan stars, but I do. Yeah. Tetsuya Naito is my favorite thing right now in professional wrestling. Except he, for AJ Styles. He is amazing. Tetsuya Naito, baby. Tetsuya Naito is the is is really good heel. That's all I'm gonna say. Jay White, really good heel. Or does he turn face? I don't know. With his feud with uh, Kenny Omega, it looks like he's a he's a face. Uh, I don't like that. I like him as a heel. Yeah, he's better off as a heel. With that I look. love my heels. I think Kenny Omega should go to a face. Maybe be a little bit different for him. But we'll have to wait and see. The Young Bucks need to go to the WWE. Period. The Young Bucks they've won everything down in the in the in, indie in the indie, indie scene. Yeah, so there's pretty much nothing else left for the Young Bucks with New Japan and Ring of Honor, period. Yeah. They've won every single title, tag team title down there, so I say go to NXT, go to WWE if you want to. Yeah, you are right. What a horrible, horrible thing. Like, why have the Young Bucks... Keep winning titles. What's the point? There's like, no I have nothing point. against the Young Bucks winning tag team titles. It's just, there's nothing else left for them. This is very true. Lee, you're very right. But, there's nothing a lot about, we can't really speak about the indie scene. We don't have enough stuff 
about the NDC. Nothing's really going on but Cody Rhodes and Kenny Omega. We're going to do that with another day. Now, Lee is going to review SmackDown. Lee's going to review SmackDown. I'm going to review Raw. I really wish I wasn't reviewing SmackDown right now because this week's SmackDown was atrocious. Same as Raw. I barely even watched it. Though Raw was better than SmackDown this week. Yeah, I, but I, it, they're both bad. It doesn't matter. So yep. let me talk about something. With this feud between The New Day and Gable and Benjamin over pancakes. Pancakes. I don't know how you could be any dumber than that, WWE. And Vince McMahon, period. You old, old fool. I have no I have no words. I wish I wasn't doing SmackDown. I wish I was doing 205 Live. I wish I was doing a Ring of Honor review, a New Japan review, a pay-per-view review, anything. Anything more than SmackDown. And with this fatal five-way fast lane match coming horrible, up. Horrible. Horrible. It is god awful. As much as I want to see Dolph Ziggler winning the World Heavyweight title, which he deserves, by the way. I want AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura at WrestleMania. That's all I want to say. And why? Why was this booked in the first place? Why was this fatal five-way match booked in the first place? I don't know, Lee. SmackDown's atrocious. Keep going on about your SmackDown review. I, I can't really. I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to review SmackDown <laughs> at all. Unfortunately, you have to. But just talk about the other feuds. And then I have to talk about... Well, Raw. I'm going to be talking about the two best matches on SmackDown this week. Zayn and... Zayn and uh, Ziggler, was it? Yeah, Zayn and Ziggler and Kevin Owens and Baron Corbin. Okay, yeah. They, they were the only two best matches. I didn't I didn't really watch SmackDown, so I can't really say anything about the show. I'm, I'm really sorry. That's okay. It was just that terrible to look at. On to your Raw review. Uh, fair enough from Lee. I didn't even watch... Raw. We don't really watch Raw on SmackDown anymore because it's just a waste of time. But I'm going to talk about Braun Strowman and Elias. The weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Why is Braun Strowman a face? Yeah, that's just... Why is Braun Strowman a face? And, why? And what was with that... Why? What was with that base? As much as I kind of laughed at the segment... It's just too weird to see Braun Strowman playing an instrument. Yeah, that is true. A former Wyatt member. As well, Kurt Angle. Get him off my TV. Oh. The cringiest general manager, except for Vicky Guerrero, and People Power. Whatever the hell that guy, John Laurinaitis. Yeah, John Laurinaitis, people power. I like Kurt Angle, but come on, Vince McMahon. You're making him look like a little girl out there. <laughs> as much as I would hate Ronda to. Ronda Rousey has to have a contract review reveal at Elimination Chamber. No one cares, Why man. Why at Elimination Chamber? Make her a just, competitor. Just have it. At a Raw next week or two. And then have her fight a match at Elimination Chamber. And make her lose against the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Which would be a really great match. I w Not really, because Ronda Rousey doesn't know how to wrestle. But well, at least it fine. Would be, it would be on a level of It fine, would sell yes. the pay-per-view. That's all I'm saying. If Ronda Rousey was in the Elimination Chamber. And why have her sign a Raw? Why ha not have it as like yeah. John Cena? Go to brand by brand. But what can I say? I don't really care about Ronda Rousey. I love doing UFC. But UFC is not the discussion. We're talking about Raw. And what a hor that was a horrible segment. Now, the match I really liked was the fatal five-way between Apollo Crews, Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, Broke Woken Matt, and Bray Wyatt. Which, granted, was the only best match on Raw. Yeah. Now, I like the finish. Everyone thought Finn Balor was going to win. Then they inserted Seth Rollins. It was a weird finish. They did a weird powerbomb off the top rope, and then both of them pinned them. Now, I don't know if it's me, but why have a seven-man elimination chamber? This isn't just you, Idan. This is also me. I don't know why in the hell WWE would book 
in an elimination chamber with seven people. I don't see the point in it. As like, well, Seth Rollins is useless. There's no point for Rollins to be in the elimination cha- chamber either. Have Finn Balor win the chamber. That's it. Yes. That's all we need to say. Just have Balor pinned, uh, who was it, Apollo Crews, Bray Wyatt? Yeah, Bray Wyatt. It was Bray Wyatt. Okay, yeah, have a... Have Finn Balor pin Bray Wyatt. Have it. Have the six-man elimination chamber match, which is the original plan, and then that's it. First time ever. This first time ever that no one cares. No one cares about a first time. You had a first ever women's Royal Rumble, which was an eh. all an all right kind of Royal Rumble. We now they're having a weird as elimination chamber for the women. What they could put padding on the steel now. They what? did that last year. Yeah. How dumb. I don't care about the new Elimination Chamber. I don't care about the first time ever Elimination Chamber. They should change the Elimination Chamber back to the original. I don't care who likes the new one. The original was much better. The Royal Rumble period needs to be better. But anyways, we're not talking about the Royal Rumble. We're talking about the future. Now, that was a good match. It was alright. But... Just no one cares. Yeah, just no one cares about what's going to happen at the Elimination Chamber. No one cares about this seven Elimination Chamber match, this six women Elimination Chamber, or even Nia Jax and Asuka. No one cares about Nia Jax or Asuka. And if, let me just say this. If there's a chance Nia Jax wins, I am going to be one of the most pissed people ever. Now, why in the hell would they even make this match? Yeah, that's that's the one thing I'm going through my mind right now. Why not have Alexa Bliss lose her title, all right, and have Oscar pretend to challenge Sasha Banks, attacks all the women after, and then points at the WrestleMania sign, thinking that she wants the title, but then a fast lane attacks Charlotte. No one cares about the Elimination Chamber. I would rather watch Gold... No, not Gold, but I would rather watch at the Royal Rumble, Triple H versus Scott Steiner. Alright? That was a horrible match. What a bollocks of a pay-per-view. Shouldn't even be called a pay-per-view. Mind me. (laughs) WrestleMania... Looks like trash. Is it, gonna be trash if they have it. It will be. Yeah. If they do not have the main event as AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura, this is gonna be one of the worst WrestleManias of all time. Probably even worse than WrestleMania 32. Why not have Triple H take control of the company? No one like. No one cares about the XFL. No one cares about Vince McMahon. I'm gonna turn this. This is horrible. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I couldn't agree with you more. The XFL is probably the most wasted thing I have ever heard. Let's just say this. WWE needs to change. WWE needs to change. WWE definitely needs to change. I'm liking 205 Live. I can't. I just really can't be bothered talking about Raw. Raw is just horrible. Just why? Why have this show... Why? What a waste of a time. I could say the same thing to SmackDown. What a waste of a time. Both both of them. Both of them were just wastes of times. Now, we're going to send it back to Lee with the rumor mill. The rumor mill hosted by Lee. Now, Lee, you got to talk about any rumors. We've talked about the brand split. Now, we want to hear about more rumors. They can't talk about us ranting more longer. We're not JD yeah. from New York. <laughs> Which is the best YouTuber there is. All right. Now, this has been going around outside of WWE with Hulk Hogan. Now, um, reports of him saying that he could be returning to New Japan Pro Wrestling. And I've been saying to Idan that... There could be a potential Hulk Hogan Bullet Club turn. Which would be another great thing to see. And uh, now I want to get to this live tour match between Brock Lesnar and The Miz. That's just... I don't know why you would book this at a live tour. The Miz would be easily killed, injured in an instant. 
I would just rather have Brock Lesnar. I would rather watch Brock Lesnar versus Kofi Kingston. That happened at Beast of the East three years ago. That was a squash match. And this tour match between Miz and Lesnar will be another squash match. Just be thankful that they're not going to be putting this on the WWE Network for $9.99. And yeah, that's, that's all I have right now. Thanks, Lee. Now, we don't have much to talk about. WWE hasn't been really interesting after the Royal Rumble. Everyone already knows what's going to happen. They're having Roman Reigns to beat Rock Lesnar at WrestleMania, probably. Most definitely. And, yeah, that's it. I think we have talked about enough. We've talked about nearly 45 minutes, I think more. Yeah, we've talked about everything on this podcast. We that have. We have talked about everything on this podcast. Too sweet podcast, too sweet radio, whatever whatever you want to call this, but we're going to add more just for you guys. Trust me. Let's talk about Pete Dunne. Yes. The best thing in UK wrestling. Ever. Slash WWE. Except for AJ Styles. <laughs> Why not have, instead of Brock Lesnar versus The Miz, as you pointed out wisely, Lee. Why not have Pete Dunne versus Brock Lesnar at Elimination Chamber for the Universal title? Have Pete Dunne beat him and have Finn Balor versus Pete Dunne. I love that a lot. That would be even bigger than The Miz and Lesnar. No one cares about The Miz and Lesnar. Pete Dunne is one of the best things in wrestling right now. Pete Dunne is really good. And it's just that, I don't know. Everything has been going down for Lesnar. Lesnar is not that good. Why not have an amazing match with Pete Dunne? Pete Dunne versus Brock Lesnar. What about Pete Dunne versus AJ Styles? That is even bigger. I love that. What about that? That is even bigger. Or what about, uh, I hope you... Okay with this one. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Pete Dunne. That's a different type of match. Nothing we have seen. Maybe I'll have to disagree with you there for the first time on this show. Yeah, I'm okay with it. But that's fine. Shinsuke Nakamura, I do. I'm not the biggest fan, but I like him. It is better than stupid Roman Reigns. It is better than all these guys who don't know how to wrestle. (laughs) (laughs) And as well, we also got to talk about Dean Ambrose. Yeah, there's... He's injured right now. And I'm hoping he comes back sometime after WrestleMania. But everyone is and saying that he's gonna turn heel. Yeah, I've been saying that I've been saying that to myself as well. Like with with that tag team between Jordan and Rollins. Horrible by the way. Yeah, it was terrible. Ambrose can come back as a shield member and then turn heel on Reigns and Rollins on a Monday night raw. That that's good. Yeah. And that is very good book uh, rumor slash booking. By the way, if you guys don't know, the Lee rumor mill always pops up for five minutes or ten minutes a show. So be tuned for the next one on the next episode. We'll definitely have a better Lee rumor mill than tonight. But that was fine because nothing's really going on in the rumors. Um, Now I am going to talk about probably... NXT, yeah. and then we're going to be done for the day. We're going to be talking about NXT, both me and Lee. This is going to be me and Lee talking about NXT. Johnny Gargano versus Andreas Yamas. Lee, take it, please. I would love to see that match. As we've already seen it at Philadelphia, I wouldn't mind seeing it again. But overall, I would love to see Alistair Black Versus Andreas Cena Malice. That guy is a god. I yeah, love Alistair well, Black. They're going to have, I think, Killian Dane versus Alistair Black. If that ever does happen, I will completely lose it. Not in a good way, but in a bad way. Because Alistair, Alistair Black deserves an NXT title. Well, I was just scrolling on my phone now, and Killian Dane interrupted Alistair Black on NXT. And Killian Dane. 
He said he's going to bring chaos to Alex to Bla- Alistair Black, which I doubt it. Alistair Black is not even that good. Oh, Al- so not Alistair Black, I'm um, Killian Dane, sorry. Alistair Black is really good. But Johnny Gargano deserves it more, I think. Johnny Gargano is AJ Styles-esque. Why not have in the next three, four months have Alistair Black versus Johnny Gargano? Have um, JSCR Musk go up to SmackDown and beat Rusev or someone for the United States slash or European title, which they should bring back, by the way. What else? We don't know much about NXT right now, but the Cody Rhodes Classic is looking good. They should also have the Authors of Pain go up to SmackDown, be either Rusev Day or the Usos after WrestleMania. I can't wait, by the way, after WrestleMania, we'll see all this NXT talent. Tomasa Ciampa should be released from the WWE. I'm joking. I'm not a big fan, but Lee loves him. Oh, yeah, I did like this Tomasa Ciampa and Johnny Gargano feud. Maybe have it in the main roster. Yeah, there's nothing else left for Johnny... Uh, sorry, not Johnny Gargano. There's everything going on with Johnny wrestling. Tommaso Chapa. There's nothing else going on for Tommaso Chapa. So you probably move him up to the main roster since there's nothing else, nothing else big for him in NXT. And have him go at it for the Intercontinental United States title. Oh, guys, thank you for watching Too Sweet Radio. Um, or Too Sweet Podcast. But How, however you want to put it. Um, let me just say this. So, this is going to be a regular thing. We're going to have the Lee Rumor Mill. We're going to have the E Fantasy Booking. And then it's just going to be me and Lee chatting about how bad WWE is. Especially so, Raw and SmackDown. Yeah, especially Raw and SmackDown. Now, thank you for watching to Sweet Radio. And we're out. Y'all ready for this?